Party's over. everyone and welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to talk about a film called House at the End of the Street starring of course Jennifer Lawrence and if you don't know who she is recently I'm, I'm, I'm sure most people know who she is. Recently she starred in of course The Hunger Games. <clears throat> so anyways here's my review. So we have Jennifer Lawrence's character and, rec and recently they're both going through a hard time. I'll try not to give too much of the plot away for spoilers and such. For all you people out there. So anyways, we have her character, and recently her father has died, so her mother and uh, her, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's character, they move away to a different house, way out in the country, and there is a, a house right next to them, um, and I'm, I'll try not to give too much of the backstory away, but long time ago, some murders happened there, and some murders happened there, and the kid that uh, one of the kids that was in the family uh, survived the murders, and he still lives in that house to this day, uh, even four years after uh, the murder. And that's pretty much uh, the plot of the movie. And that's just, you know, when the main character, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, starts to get to know the, uh, the guy that lives in the, in the old house that the murders happened in. That's pretty much the plot of House at the End of the Street. Now, critically, I know this movie hasn't done too, too well, uh, Rotten Tomatoes again has about a 14% on RottenTomatoes.com, and critics don't seem to like it too much, but audiences seem to like the movie. And RottenTomatoes.com has about an 80% from about 12,000 different ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. So audiences seem to like the film, but critics don't. So it seems that most people are liking this movie. Now, me, myself, I thought this was a pretty decent movie. You know, I thought Hunger Games was decent. I thought it was a little overrated, but I did think the movie was pretty good. But I honestly enjoy totally two different movies. But I enjoyed Jennifer Lawrence more in House at the End of the Street than I did in Hunger Games. And the reason is I'm more of a horror fan. Now, um, one of the many reasons I liked House at the End of the Street was because of the opening scene. I won't say how. Oh, but this is PG-13, just so you guys know. So it does not have much blood in it at all. But there's a very a clever way they use the blood within the first three to four minutes in the opening scene of the film. And I really like the way they use the blood in the opening scene of House at the End of the Street. Now, another reason I liked it was because with a lot of films nowadays, the directors think, you know, we have to make this movie, you know, start right when the film opens up. But the good thing about House at the End of the Street is it's, it's, it's about an hour and 50 minutes, I believe you know, hour and 50, hour and 51, something like that. Anyways, it takes time to build on the characters and the plot of this movie. It does not start immediately. I know some people thought it was slow, but to me, the best horror films are the ones who build on the plot of the uh, characters. That's 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 the best kind. You know, they, they take time. You know, it, it takes a little while to start off, kind of like it's, it's not a... It doesn't feel like a Ty West film, you know, same guy did Innkeeper's House of the Devil, you know. It doesn't feel like one, but it's kind of similar to that because it takes a while to set up things, and it takes a while for things to get going. But that's one of the good things about the film because it makes you feel for the characters, and it makes you root for Jennifer Lawrence's character in the movie House at the End of the Street. Now, let me see. I'm trying to think of some other reasons I liked it. Uh, I, look, I really like the tension around the end. The, the tension starts to build up, and you're it's not scary by any means, but the tension does start to build up. Um, there's, there's a few cons, though. It, it was not a perfect movie, I'll say. It was not a perfect or amazing in any way, but I did think it was decent. One of the things that could have been done a little better was it, it wasn't very bloody. You know, realistically, if I was to stab someone, blood's going to come running out. I'm not asking for it to be in, a, in an abundant amount in a PG-13 movie, but I do ask for a little bit more. You know, there's some scenes where, where you know, they could have had, you know, more, just more blood when, when people are getting hurt and just, you know, but I, I think that would have been a little more... 
but it's a little more realistic if you if you know what I'm saying. But it, you know that you know it doesn't make the movie any worse. It's just you know they could have done better on a few things. Now, uh, I was I was actually expecting something a little different going into this movie from what the trailer was was portraying. I was expecting something a little different, but I was actually you know when I was there and after the movie, I actually had a sigh of of relief and you know a breath of fresh air because the movie gave me something. It's not original or anything, but the movie gave me something kind of unique, you know. And I was expecting I was expecting something a little different from what the trailer was portraying, but instead I got I got something a little different, you know. So that was a breath of fresh air for this movie. Anyways, I enjoyed this movie. If I was to give it a solid one out of ten rating for House at the End of the Street. I'd give the movie a solid 7. Just a solid 7 because I thought it was a very decent film and it's worth what I paid for. Anyways, that's my review of it for House at the End of the Street. Like, comment, subscribe to my page below and I'll see you guys later with another movie review.